Hello, this is Team Ambition, consisting of team members Caleb Trotter, Gillette Zenner, and Alex Pinkham, and this is our presentation for my technology project. We came up with our design on a suggestion from a local coffee shop. What was proposed was some way of having a live Twitter feed to be displayed on an LCD within the premises so that customers could interact with one another. Our intended customer segments are the local coffee shop owners. In conjunction, their customers will also be defined customer segment. What we will deliver to our customers will be a fun, exciting way to interact with the shop and the people within. The problem we are solving for the coffee shops is a way to keep the customers updated at all times and for the customers to actively interact with one another in a new, innovative way. This video shows our finished working product. A tweet is sent out via iPhone. This Twitter account is connected to the Arduino, which itself is equipped with an Ethernet shield that allows internet connectivity. We originally opted for the very popular Raspberry Pi, which was unfortunately out of stock, so we had to use the Ethernet shield, which was obtained from the local Radio Shack. Once the tweet is sent, the information is given to the Arduino and the tweet is printed to the attached LCD. There is a bit of a lag time between when the tweet is sent and updated to when it reads out on LCD. But nonetheless, we successfully managed to hit our goal. The key components of our design are fairly simple. An Arduino, an Ethernet shield, and an LCD screen. As mentioned before, the Ethernet shield was obtained from Radio Shack, and this element gives the Arduino internet connection so that the tweet may be processed by the Arduino and then printed to the LCD. The LCD we used is limited to 14 characters. However, larger screens can be used which will allow much more content to be displayed if necessary. The performance parameters associated with our product are time-based. Initial startup time for our product is 30 seconds. The time frame from when the tweet is posted from a mobile device to when it registers on the LCD is right around 15 seconds. The unit then updates for new tweets every one minute from there on out. Taking a look at the marketing aspect of our product, the problem we solve for the coffee shops is that of customer interaction. Every shop wants repeat customers and to offer all they can in the areas of great service and a comfortable, enjoyable setting. Results from the John Kaufman Quick Test revealed that we have a very promising product to offer. With a score of 80.5, most areas we registered relatively high values, such as upsell potential. The upsell potential that we have is with the LCD screen. Any size LCD may be sold depending on what the coffee shop needs. We benchmarked our product against four potential competitors whom we rated on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best and 1 the worst. Our product has the edge because it presents the reasonable alternative to devoting an entire computer to displaying tweets. Buy a cheaper computer that only does one job. For less than half the cost of a computer, you get a fully functioning Twitter display to integrate social media into the culture of your small business. Personalization and style are up to the user, and we can present the buyer with a wide range of LCD choices. For delivering on the human drivers, we feel as though our product is strongest with drive number two, bonding. When a person uses our product within the confines of a local coffee shop, they will get to experience a new way to connect people, a combination of social networking along with real-life encounters. This will open new doorways for people who wish to expand their social bonding needs. Our calculated net profit margin was ideal, along with an attractive sales revenue. However, we found that the net income was very low. With cost of hardware and time investment this high, we conclude that this idea may not be economically feasible unless more sales could be generated. The only way to do this would be to try to sell on a national scale instead of just in the local area. We based our estimate on knowing for sure that one business in the local area wants a product like the one we are designing. They would almost definitely buy one, if not many. Because coffee shops want to connect through social media with their consumers, we believe selling an additional 10 to 15 products to customers within 150 miles in one year is feasible. Even though our product idea came from an interested customer, it is still difficult to gauge who else would likely buy one. We found this a challenging question as engineers. We focused on using our meetings at school to divide tasks and present results produced since our last meeting. We also met for more extended periods of time where we could all work on the prototype together and have fun. Keeping a positive attitude and by using emotional intelligence, we were able to help others get unstuck. Looking back over the course of this project, we thought that the best improvement that we could make would be to have quick meetings at school to discuss intermediate results and distribute tasks, but have longer collaboration sessions where we could all work on the prototype together. We agree that this would help rally in results and build stronger team bonds. As with any project, there's always room for improvement. If we all knew how to solder well, we could have spread the work on the LCD pin wiring out amongst the group more. Same goes for the command libraries. It would have allowed others to troubleshoot with higher accuracy. 
another improvement we could have made would to have regular scheduled meetings in order for all of us to work on the prototype together. We appreciate you for taking the time to watch Team Ambition's presentation for my technology product. My name is Alex Pinkham, and on behalf of my teammates Caleb Trotter and Gillette Zenner, we would like to thank you.